Welcome to Ormond Arms. Today we'll be covering new laws in Florida, Texas, California, and New York. Hi everybody, my name is Frank Johnson and I'm here today to present to you these new laws, laws that got knocked down and laws that will affect you in the coming year. So first, let's cover Florida, where we're at now. Florida had tons of new laws submitted and every one of them that was an anti-gun law was knocked down in legislation. Texas, on the other hand, was quite the opposite. They had tons of laws pro-gun that made it in. Texas, in fact, made a law that forbids any state or local government in the state of Texas from enforcing any new federal law that is put into play. California, on the other hand, with a lot of the anti-gun stuff, you know where California is going. But the big deal right now, since October 28th, 2021, State of New York has enacted two new bills, S13A and S14A. They both work together. You can find those links below, but we'll talk about them now. But if you wanna read the bills in full, go to the link below. So let's talk about S13A. That's the first one that you're gonna to wanna to concern yourself with. 120 days from October 28th, the 80% parts, the lowers, will be illegal in the state of New York. S14A is gonna cover identifying those parts. So 60 days after S13A is up and you can no longer buy them, you have 60 days or 180 days from October 28th to get them serialized. So I would like to recommend to not just New Yorkers, but to everybody, is a book like this. You can get this at Amazon, which you can find that link below as well. And the reason I choose this book for my 80 percenters is because you don't have a serial number. So in the book, you can do as I did, and you have photographs. So these photographs, I go to a local Photoshop and I have one picture with four pictures in one. So I have the top, the bottom, the sides, uh, left and right. And then at the bottom, you can write whatever information you want in there. So to kind of give you an idea what the page will look like before, so that's what they look like. And this has all the information required by the ATF. So even when you do serialize it, you can put that serial number in there. And what you have here is your information, and if you sell it, that person. Because one of the important things to remember <clears throat> is that why these new laws are coming into effect regarding 80 percenters is that people don't record them. So if the gun is stolen and it's an 80 percenter, the local police, the ATF, the FBI, have no way of prosecuting somebody found with an 80 percenter that allegedly was stolen. But if you have identifying marks, have photographs of it, and can prove that gun was yours, the prosecution can prosecute that person for the theft of that gun, not only just for using a gun during a crime, but it also means that you'll get your gun back. If you don't have any identification, you can't prove the gun is yours, they're not gonna return it to you but you're also preventing prosecution of criminals who use the firearm illegally. So if you have any questions, concerns, or just wanna know how to interpret something, leave it in the comments below. So if you liked the video, please like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that bell so you get all the notifications when we make new videos addressing the comments and concerns that you have, as well as further things that you're not aware of. So again, thank you for watching Ormond Arms page, and we hope to see you soon.